Rumble World Entertainment, and it looks like Paramount may have its new Ben Richards for the brand new remake of The Running Man. Yeah, Glenn Powell apparently is tapped to star in Edgar Wright's adaptation of the Stephen King's The Running Man. So we'll have a look at the article. This was uh, dropped at CinemaCon. Most of all these stories that we've been talking about for the last day or so has been a bit um, from CinemaCon. So we'll have a look at this one. Um, it's an interesting one. I still don't understand why they want to redo The Running Man. It's interesting as well that it's Paramount. When did Paramount get the rights to it? Because Paramount did not have the rights to, or at least they weren't involved with the original film. I think that was Channel, whatever it was called, Channel something. Uh, but we'll have a look at this anyway. So, one of the fastest rising stars in Hollywood, Glenn Powell, has officially been tapped to play the lead in Paramount's reboot of the 87 Arnold Schwarzenegger cult classic, The Running Man, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Powell is fresh off the success of Anything But You, which earned a surprising $217 million dollars at the box office for Sony Pictures. And Sydney Sweeney's two massive assets probably had a helping hand on that one. <laughs> From what I understand, they get seen in all their glory. As they do in most things she's in, other than Madam Webb. We're getting a little distracted here. <laughs> so Paramount already has a working relationship with Powell, who appeared as the cocky and confident pilot Hangman in Top Gun Maverick in 2022. Based on the novel by Stephen King, The Running Man will be directed by Edgar Wright, who has been attached to the project since 2021. Wright co-wrote the script with Michael Bacall, or Bacall, and will also serve as producer alongside partners Neera Park and Simon Kingberg. Wright first rose to prominence uh, as director of the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End, and has since been uh, a mainstay in genre cinema. Since when what was it called the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy? I thought it was just called the Cornetto trilogy. When did it become the Three Flavors? Well, that's weird. Uh, Powell will be seen next as a Houston cop. Uh, or police officer going undercover as a hitman blah 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 don't care about any of that though it's been a favourite among genre fans for years the 1987 version of The Running Man has come under scrutiny for not adhering well to its source material Stephen King who penned the original novel even went so far to distance himself from the project after realising just how much it diverted from his original vision. Edgar Wright is determined to make an adaptation that will stick close to the book for not only the fans but for himself as well. I want to see and know who's out there saying they hate the Schwarzenegger running man because it didn't stay true to the book because I've never seen that complaint. Do you know why I've never seen that complaint? Because the majority of people don't even realise it was a book first. <laughs> so, yeah. And as for Stephen King distancing himself from it, who cares? Stephen King is a lunatic who hates everything. He's even out there defending the Marvels. Do you remember that? He went on his little Twitter tirade and then even said, like, why is it getting so much hate, blah, blah, blah. It's this isn't fair to it and blah 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 and then went I don't actually like these type of movies and I haven't even seen this one but leave it alone it's like are you serious dude so who cares what Stephen King's feelings are on any of this stuff he hates every adaptation of his books that should be <laughs> whatever go have your little joints in your corner and shut up Stephen King but Will the character actually be Ben Richards? Don't know. There's no indication whether or not it would be Ben Richards. But the one thing this movie will have to overcome is the fact that people will always have the original movie in mind. 
anytime you'll say the running man the first thing they'll think of is Schwarzenegger and the likes of Buzzsaw and Sub-Zero and stuff you know <laughs> everyone will still be quoting you know here's Sub-Zero now playing Zero all that kind of good stuff and that's the one thing about the original as like violent as it was and everything else there was still that humour in there the Schwarzenegger one-liners now I will give Glenn Powell one thing he could pull off the one-liners and stuff he is great in Top Gun Maverick um, haven't really seen him much else wasn't he in the Expendables 3 I'm pretty sure he was one of the guys in the Expendables 3 um, if it was him he, he was fine in it you know it wasn't any offensive <laughs> to, to the movie Um so he, he kind of does these wait like he, for some reason he's in the sequel to Twister that thing Twisters which just looks god awful <laughs> yeah he was in the Expendables 3 turns out he was also in the Dark Knight Rises who the hell was he in the Dark Knight Rises I don't remember oh wait was he the banker is he the guy Bane clatters with the biker helmet possible um yeah I, I still don't understand why they want to do this remake the running man uh, now this one they're saying they're staying closer to the book which could help it as well it could help separate people and um, comparing it to the Schwarzenegger movie compared to the book so it's it's not all negative but you're still kind of going eh will it land with people will it not is it a risk is it not we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see if he actually signs on to it now this is just saying he's tapped the player uh, and Paramount announced that and even though it's saying here the Hollywood Reporter is the one who broke this news it was announced in the Paramount panel at CinemaCon when they announced a bunch of stuff and one of them was The Running Man with Glenn Powell so I, it sounds like he is uh, attached to this movie so we'll have to wait and see exactly what we get out will it be R rated like the original movie don't know probably will I would assume it would be um, will it have that kind of humour and stuff don't know probably not because it probably wouldn't really fit nowadays but and the the weird thing as well is Schwarzenegger has talked about he would love to do a running man too so like I don't want a Schwarzenegger cameo in this or anything because it just it would be st stupid and out of place you know just for the sake of oh let's just have him in there as a, a nod because that's all it would be be a little uh, cheap kind of money grab to go oh look we got Arnold in here but we'll wait and see exactly what comes of this you know a lot of the paramount stuff mightn't even happen this one looks like it absolutely is because there's a script and everything so far from what we're hearing but we'll have to wait and see and see what the budgets are you know that's the key thing movies like this what are your budgets you know is it going to be enough to break even and earn you profit and not a small bit of profit a good bit of profit we'll have to wait and see you know is there much demand for a new the running man time's gonna tell but with that one i'm gonna run so i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one